Hello everybody. This is on uh, another All Washington rant. Let's um let, let's talk about about something um that 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 I've been um asked about you know recently. Uh, one 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 of my um partners and stuff like that they those uh you know mess with me and stuff like that and they asked me um how's it you know easy for me to you know just approach a woman and talk to her and just have you know a casual conversation and, and stuff like that and stuff um how do I do that you know because in this day and age um, most men um don't do the approach that that I do that I do you know. An approach that that I do, especially if I'm really you know interested in a woman, is that you know I do a direct approach. Um, uh, you know, of course I be you know a gentleman, or whatever you know, and just introduce myself and all the stuff there, and we just have conversation and stuff. Then, if I feel that um <clears throat> that the woman is um you know potential, then I ask her for a number. But if I feel that she's not potential, then I'm not gonna ask her for a number. I just have a casual conversation and just end it at that and stuff. So. I was asked, how can you do that? How can a, how can you um, build a man confidence up to uh, you know talk to a woman and stuff? So today in this rant, I want to uh, share you know share us some some uh, quick t techniques how you can want uh, to talk to a woman. You know, the number one technique that you need to know in talking to a woman is confidence, confidence, confidence. Now. Confidence rules the conversation. Confidence rules the nation. If you don't have confidence, then you consider it as being weak, especially as a man. You know what I'm saying? As a man, we're, we're known to be the hunters. We, we're known to um, whatever it is that we want, we'll go out there and get it and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Then we also know that when we want it, uh, we'll be persistent about getting it. You know, to acquire what we want, and it's no different. You know, with with a woman, that's why you know when you see in these, uh, you see in these sometimes you see men who are you know considered as some players and stuff like that. It's because that's what they want. You know, what I'm saying they they want the thrill of the the ride or the thrill of the chase uh, to get that woman, and their ultimate goal is to sleep with the woman and stuff. You know, what I'm saying that's their intake. But there are other men out there and stuff. They're not you know trying to be players and stuff, uh, where they're not being players, but they actually is hunting to find their queen, you know what I'm saying, the one who's worthy to be on the throne with him and stuff, you know what I'm saying, so confidence is number one key, and I'm going I'm to share with you how you can build your confidence up to, um, you know, eventually talk to, talk to a woman. The first and most important thing that, that you need to know about building your confidence up is this, is that you need to define who you are. If you don't know who who you are, that the how in the world do you expect for that woman to respect you of who you are? You know what I'm saying? One thing that that I have seen that I noticed, even though I don't like it, and stuff is that uh, these uh, you know these men you know out here who are uh, who portrays the image of being you know dogs and thugs and stuff like that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know they the ones who be dogging out these women and stuff like that. Um, one thing I can say about them that they have is confidence and they have a persona about themselves, which in this case, a persona is this thug, hard, bad boy image and stuff. A lot of women gets highly turned on to this bad boy image for the simple fact because these dudes know exactly what they want and they're going to get what they want and they're persistent in getting it and stuff. And for, for some reason, a woman... Loves that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But when you get an average dude, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know, myself or, you know, anybody else, you know what I'm saying? We're watching this rent who's average and stuff. Um, you, you, uh, you, you, you be less persistent because you try to be as different as much as possible stuff and it don't, and it don't be a, a full turn on for the, the woman and stuff. So, um, that's why I'm saying like you, you have to know who you are. You have to know. Who you who exactly who you are because once when you portray who you are, that's gonna affect your confidence level. It's gonna boost your confidence level when when you know exactly who you are. Then therefore, this is gonna radiate into whoever it is that you talking to or whoever you cross paths with and stuff. They're gonna see and they're gonna know who you are. It's so because you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? So you have to build that up. Another thing, just just like I mentioned earlier about these dudes and stuff like that, um, unfortunately, you have to have a certain persona about yourself as well.
Now I know that in, in my um in my rants and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, I'm always talking, saying, you know, stuff that, you know, the spirit is, you know, the most important thing and stuff, right? Which that's true. And stuff. The spirit is the most important thing. But also, you know what I'm saying, um, you, you have to have a certain characteristic about yourself physically and stuff as well. You know, you have to have some type of, as we say, some type of swag about yourself that's gonna um, you know, attract that type of woman to you. And so so you have to build up a certain swag by yourself. And when I'm talking about a certain swag, I'm talking about a certain appearance and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know, where if you 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 wanna uh, have a proper appearance, uh, where if you want to have a thug appearance, where if you know you want to have a comfortable appearance, wherever it is and stuff, you have to develop some type of persona about yourself and sell that persona that you have about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Once we sell it, then, then that's going to be another one thing that's going to, you know what I'm saying, attract a woman to you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So first thing, First thing first, as I said, in the confidence level, you have to know who you are. Then the second thing, you know, you have to build a certain persona about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Now, the the, the final thing is also the most important thing, too, which is uh, communication and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You have to have a good rap game, you know what I'm saying? You have to know exactly what you're going to talk about and how the way you want um, and how the way you're going to talk about it stuff, too, you know what I'm saying? You got to know what you're going to say and be firm, be persistent about it in your um in your um effort and stuff like that and stuff. Hold on one moment, y'all, my battery died. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. Okay, so you you have to have have real good communication skill when when you um talking to a woman and stuff. For your communi uh for a man, um a, a good communication skill is always listening first, reacting later and stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's a good trait that you should want to acquire and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because a woman, she was you know unfortunately it's built in her nature to speak, to talk, to communicate, but. Um, a man's nature and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? We build more to um, listen, understand, and react to what's being said and stuff like that. So if you want to perfect your communication skills, your technique in talking to a woman, then you're going to perfect um, your confidence in it as well and stuff too. So so com conversation do rules the nation also as well. You know what I'm saying? Have, have you also noticed that, which I noticed this too, stuff on, and I actually witnessed it too, you know, because I, I have been to, you know, a couple of bars, I've been to clubs and stuff like that, and I witnessed the dudes, uh, you know, if they put, put, put portraying this player image, thug image, whatever it is, they do the same as that thing and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They with, within the communication that I'm talking about and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They'll catch you, you know, they'll catch you a woman by, you know what I'm saying, certain stuff that they know that they want to hear and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They'll say stuff like, hey, what's up, shorty? Or what's up, mom? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, you look good. Let me get that number, you know, something like that in that nature and stuff. Just be direct and stuff. And that's another thing and stuff too is that you know what I'm saying, um, like I said earlier stuff, you got you have to be um direct in your approach as well and stuff with a woman and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can't be playing no games and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You you um you have to be truthful in your intent. If you're trying to talk to her, you have to let her know straight up what's your intentions and stuff like that. Because I already in a woman mindset, they are already in a one mode to want to curb you. It's a but at the same time, they have a curiosity that's built within them too. That's what that's what allowed them to sit up here and at least listen to the stuff that you have to say before they get to the point of well, you know, I got a boyfriend or whatever stuff like that. Because they won't, honestly want to hear. The bull crap that you're going to say, in other words, see if, see if it's going to be interesting to them or not and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And um, and so so that's that's what they do. So your communication skills, you know, it's very important. You have to want to talk and stuff. If you're afraid to talk, then, you know, you're not going to get a, get a woman at all and stuff like that. It's not going to happen at all, you know what I'm saying? So, so um, this, this, like I say, uh, the first thing, once again, I said the first thing, is that uh, you got to um, build yourself. You have to know who you are. The second thing, you have to build a persona about your, a certain persona about yourself. Whatever it is that you decide to do, you have to build a certain persona about yourself. And the final thing 
uh, and I mentioned is that you have to have real good communication skills as well as well and stuff too. You know what I'm saying? So um, I, I hope this uh, help help out a, you know a lot of lot of one dudes, especially like dudes who are like me and stuff on world. Um, you you know they they trying to look for that potential um, queen and stuff like that and stuff right, but you know they just you know they're not confident enough to want to talk to her and stuff like that. You know they become intimidated and stuff like that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I hope this helped you out. Oh, one one more thing and stuff too is this this is that uh, when you start doing these different these three different things that that I mentioned, it's very vital. It's very important that you do a test run. You know what I'm saying? And like. I done discovered that, you know, when you do your test run, you know what I'm saying? You just do your test run, you know, with um, on the person that, you know, you're really not into and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, um, you know, like a woman that, you know, you you just, you literally want to be in a friend zone with this woman. You don't want no type of feelings with her whatsoever. You just want a friend zone her. And so, so I recommend that you do a test run with the women that, you know, you want to just friend zone them and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you do this quick test run just to build up your confidence, to build up your, your, um, your own persona. You know what I'm saying? Then when you get to the actual woman that, or the queen that you want to be with and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Then, um, then you know what I'm saying you be ready then you know and stuff so uh, so yeah let's, let's do some test rounds and stuff too and do it as well oh and another thing uh, also is, is that um it's very important that you know you build so much confidence where you don't need your boys to try to win for you I didn't learn even through experience that women hate when men try to win and stuff you know what I'm saying because they want a man to be confident in they self, you know what I'm saying? Even if a woman be a, be with her, all her friends and stuff like that, and you know her friends will have a blocker in her group and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, they still want to see if you if you are a man, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be bold enough to go and talk to them and stuff, even in front of their friends, you know what I'm saying? Because that shows them um, your strength. It shows them that you're strong and stuff like that. It even shows them that it even shows them that you you are willing to take an L and stuff. So even they do curve you and stuff. It shows your confidence that you wouldn't take an L. You cool, you like, hey, um, she didn't give me enough. Cool, on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? And stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know, uh, the winging part is kind of played out and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that wing stuff. They they don't like that at all and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So uh, my time is up on this rant. Um, like I always, so I'll fight faith with faith. Um, and I will talk to y'all later. God bless y'all.